welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Today's beer is a beer I've been looking forward to try for quite some time. Uh, I recently was able to get it. It is the Southern Tier Unearthly uh, Double IPA. Unearthly, yeah. And pretty cool labeling on here. Some hop vines. Um, yeah, I, I like. Um, I reviewed a while back the Southern Tier Gemini, which is a mix of this and the Southern Tier Hop, which I also reviewed. And so far, the, my favorite of the two is the the Hop, but still the Gemini is a fantastic beer. But now we gotta try, or I'm gonna try the um, the Unearthly. Uh, yeah, it's on 11 percent alcohol by volume, and it's a really heavy beer, and it's. Uh, the kettle hops they uh, brew with is Chinook and Cascade, then the hop back is Styrian Golding, and they, it's dry, also dry hopped with Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook. Um, yeah, they say you got to serve it a, around 5.5 degrees Celsius, or 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Mine is a bit warmer, because I like having my beer a bit warmer. Um, says here on the back. At the Southern Tier Brewing Company, vigorously hot beer is our standard and inspiration. And then it says like a title, an uninhibited infusion of hops. We continue a commitment to innovation with our most aggressive offering yet. Unearthly is a manifestation of the brewer's craft, skillfully balancing art and the forces of nature to produce a divine liquid. Delicately pour a taste into a fluted glass, smell the en enchanting aromas of the hops, waft forward as your first sip divulges this beer's fervent soul. To underestimate unearthly is to trifle with the myst mysteries of the universe, so please consume wisely. I would imagine 11 point, uh, 11% would, that's a lot of alcohol, let's get it cracked open. It's in a, like a big bomber and it's what's that 66 centimeters i think oh that smells just amazing just from smelling the cap um let's get it poured into my hulendrax lip snifter oh that's just a lovely color again man southern tears the color of the beers a color of a beer can really also attract you a lot like a lot of mckellar's beers they look so bad really um, they're not that good looking at all, but the taste is fantastic. But that's the thing I like about Southern Tier, the colors of the beer as well. Um, that's a nice, lovely color. Uh, if you can't see it, it's a cloudy orange color. Uh, a fair amount of carbonation, a nice two-finger frothy head with a lot of small bubbles. And wow, a fantastic aroma. Yeah, let's check out the aroma of this double IPA. Oh yeah, my god, that smells really nice. A ton of pine in here. And it is an East Coast IPA, so of course you'll get some pine. Yeah, pine. Caramel malts as well in here. Some some like a resinous type of hop as well. It it sort of smells like dust it's like slight dusty, dusty hops compared to other double IPAs I've had. Maybe because it isn't that fresh, I don't know, I just bought it. But overall it smells really nice. Um, you can really smell it's got a decent, a nice caramel, you know, or not just caramel, but multi backbone, but a nice, really nice, piney, resinous, hoppy smelling aroma. But let's dig in and give it a taste. Ah, oh, yeah. That is nice, that is really nice. Um, yeah, let's start off with the body. The body is like full. I, I would call this a full bodied IPA. Um, with just, it's not as in like ex extreme body wines as such, where it completely coats your mouth, mouth, but it has sort of like a sweet, sticky sensation. Probably because it's used, they use a lot of sugar to. Uh, get an alcohol content of 11%, that's usually why it's so sticky, the beer. But the flavor is definitely dominated by pine. There is a lot of like, fresh, if, you know, if you walk in the woods, smell some fresh pine needles in the spring, sort of that flavor, which is 
just lovely. And really, it has a superb multi backbone. It's quite sweet as well, and it's very well balanced between hops and sweetness from the malt. You really get a sensation of like a caramelly flavor, and it's it's actually not that bitter for a double IPA, um, which is quite surprising. Uh, I actually expected it, expected it to be a lot more bitter. This is more balanced. Uh, it's still quite bitter, of course, but not as bitter as some double IPAs. The mouthfeel is like also quite dry. Um, not the driest mouthfeel of a double IPA I've had, but still fairly dry. In the initial sip, when the beer first hits my tongue, I also get like a slight hint of citric or citrus, uh, citru some kind of citrus fruit, not grapefruit, uh, just like a citrus, citric note. And man, for 11% alcohol by volume, you can't, you can't taste it whatsoever, man. All the beers, that's the thing Southern Tea is really good at. All the beers I've had from the brewery so far, I haven't been able to taste the alcohol at all, really. I mean, that is just incredibly uh, nice hidden. You do get a small burning sensation in your throat, but I'm not sure if that's because of the alcohol or it's just the hops, because it's sort of like a sp spicy hop still as well. And I also get like an earthiness along with some resinous hops. Uh, this is really nice, guys. Um, definitely. Not, still not my favorite of the three. Um, I still prefer the uh, hop most because I like that pineapple flavor. That was really nice. But um, rating wise, this is getting a 90. It is a superb double IPA. Uh, definitely a beer you need to check out if you can get it. <laughs> well, that's it for this beer, you guys. A 90 for the uh, Southern Tier Unearthly. Uh, it's a really good double IPA and really a beer you guys need to check out if you can get it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Um, check out all my other videos, subscribe, comment, thumbs up and all that. And I'm going to say cheers and I'll see you in the next beer review.